John Geithner, Bernanke and Alan Greenspan. Ernie Patrikas joins us now. He is currently a partner at White and Case, and he spent 30 years at the Federal Reserve Bank of New York and was close personally and professionally with Paul Volcker as well as others. Ernie, great to have you back on Good the to show. Be here. So Greenspan today, did he simply defend himself or did he actually shed some light on the circumstances that led to the financial well, meltdown? You know, I think to go back to his paper call a crisis that he submitted to Brookings was a great start. He did this before the hearing. I think people should read it. Everyone won't agree with it. He and John Taylor, two economists, I'm a lawyer, they can debate all day the Fed's responsibility for interest rates being too low and Greenspan saying we only do short-term rates. We're not responsible for long-term rates. Adjustable rate mortgages, though, had a little bit of short-term and long-term as they as they went up. And that that's a debate that will go on for, for a long time. I think in terms of supervision, without he saying exactly that they were shortfalls, that the capital ratios, the requirements for capital were too low, and he comes out in his paper for higher capital requirements, higher uh, leverage requirements in terms of the future. Most interesting, he said, will not, we will not prevent bubbles. There will always be bubbles. Even if there's the bubble discovering agency, there will be bubbles. And that the Fed cannot deal with all of the bubbles. Uh, it takes Fed action about 12 to 18 months right. to hit the real economy.